What are redox reactions? Well, those reactions in which oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously are called redox reactions. In our previous video of oxidation and reduction, we have learned all about oxidation and reduction and its link is given in the description. Now, I teach my personal trick about oxidation and reduction, 100 door. Here, 100 stands for increased oxidation state is oxidation. For example, consider sodium atom. When sodium atom loses one electron, it becomes positive ion. The oxidation state of sodium atom increases from zero to positive one, so we say that sodium is oxidized. On the other hand, DOOR stands for decreased oxidation state is reduction. For example, consider chlorine atom. When this chlorine atom gains one electron, it becomes negative ion. The oxidation state of chlorine decreases from zero to negative one, so chlorine is reduced. Thus using my personal trick of 100 DOOR, we can easily spot oxidation and reduction. Now I will use these four rules to instantly calculate oxidation state and easily recognize redox reaction. We have already discussed these four rules in our previous video and its link is given in the description. For example, consider calcium plus bromine gas react together to form calcium bromide. According to this rule, we know that in free state, oxidation state is zero. So oxidation state of calcium is zero and oxidation state of bromine is zero. Here, calcium and bromine combine together to form calcium bromide. So I call it combined state. We know that in combined state, the oxidation state of halogens like bromine is negative one. There are two atoms of bromine so negative 1 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 2. Thus the oxidation state of bromine is negative 2. If the oxidation state of bromine is negative 2, then the oxidation state of calcium is positive 2 because overall the charge on calcium bromide is 0. Now listen carefully. The oxidation state of calcium increases from 0 to positive 2. So it is oxidized while the oxidation state of bromine decreases from zero to negative two, so it is reduced. We can see that oxidation and reduction take place in this reaction, thus it is a redox reaction. Therefore, remember that a reaction is a redox reaction if oxidation and reduction take place. Secondly, consider carbon plus oxygen gas react together to form carbon dioxide. Here, carbon is in free state and oxygen gas is also in free state. So we say that the oxidation state of carbon is zero and the oxidation state of oxygen is also zero. While here, carbon plus oxygen combine to form carbon dioxide gas. So it is a combined state. We know that in combined state, Oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2. There are two atoms of oxygen, so its oxidation state is negative 4. Now this is a neutral molecule, therefore the oxidation state of carbon is positive 4. Now listen carefully. We can see that the oxidation state of carbon increases from 0 to positive 4, so it is oxidized while the oxidation state of oxygen decreases from zero to negative four, so it is reduced. Therefore, oxidation and reduction take place in this reaction, so it is a redox reaction. Thus noted down this example. Finally, consider hydrogen gas plus fluorine gas combined together to form hydrogen fluoride. Now pause the video and try to solve this reaction. Well, Hydrogen is in free state, fluorine is also in free state, so the oxidation state of hydrogen gas is zero and the oxidation state of fluorine gas is also zero. While here, hydrogen and fluorine is in combined state. We know that in combined state, 
the oxidation state of halogen like fluorine is negative 1. This is a neutral molecule, so the oxidation state of hydrogen is positive 1. We can see that the oxidation state of hydrogen increases from 0 to positive 1, so it is oxidized. While the oxidation state of oxygen decreases from 0 to negative 1, so it is reduced. Therefore, oxidation and reduction take place in this reaction, thus it is a redox reaction. Thus using this simple trick, we can easily recognize any redox reaction.